Good morning guys from our new flat. Maybe my eyebrows might be a bit intense. Good morning, this is the first weekly vlog in our new home, our Melbourne base. I am up fairly bright and early this morning because I actually have a job interview, which I actually don't think I've ever had. Not a real one anyway, I've always worked in hospitality when I've not done this job. So I've always just done like trial shifts. That's Tom putting the washing away, by the way. But this is an actual interview and I'm trying to think back as to if I've done any interviews and I'm kind of like, there are definitely some drawbacks to having always been self-employed really. There are more pros, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I'm heading to one of the suburbs just outside of the city center. So I have got dressed in just a little like black kind of midi dress, not midi. Yeah, midi. Apart from guys, I'm wearing it with Converse because I don't have any other shoes and like I'd already spent so much money buying a dress, cargo trousers, a t-shirt, like all smart clothing, which I didn't bring with me. Another pair of shoes would have cost a fortune. You best believe I'm going to this interview in my Converse. But anyway, I need to leave. We're gonna get the tram. And then after this interview, guys, I'm going to the hairdresser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these roots. Can you see them? Just look at these roots. Ew. Hard to stand somewhere where the light is good. I actually might insert an overlay. The lady that did my hair has done such a good job. There are no lines, there are no roots. It's still blonde, but it's like a really warm blonde. It's honestly probably closest to my natural color that I have been since I was about 17 or 18, which is kind of rogue. But then I also saw this TikTok being like, the hair color that suits you the most is your natural color. And my issue with that is my natural color is just like mousy brown, like dark blonde, light brown. But then I actually do look back at photos and I think, yeah, maybe it does. I also think that fresh blonde looks so lovely, but the upkeep of that whilst backpacking is near impossible. So I'm so much happier. I went to a salon called Sam Taylor hair. I'll put their out on screen and I'll link them below. I really recommend. They were in a place called Ascot Vale, which is about 20 minutes out of Melbourne city centre, but I thought that was really good because, to be honest, it meant you were paying a little bit less and also there was more availability. Like, the city centre salons were so booked up. Yeah, they did a really, really good job and yeah, it was a really lovely salon as well, actually. Really modern, really clean. I'm gonna stop waffling about my hair. This just so happened to be the day after we moved in. Like, I'd already booked this. I didn't really know when this was all gonna be sorted out, but it was a happy accident. This feels kind of weird guys. You joined me from my kitchen. I've never said that before because I've never really owned a kitchen before. I've always had a kitchen either at my home, my family home, or I've shared a kitchen in student accommodation, but this is my kitchen. So like temporarily at least, pretty pleased with this. But obviously it is our first week in our flat this week. And to be honest, we just wanted to make life as easy as possible this week has been hectic enough. And I'm sure you guys might already know if you've watched me when I've been back in the UK that I am a pretty big fan of HelloFresh. Some pretty good news guys, they're actually here in Australia as well and I am buzzing about this. So if you're super new to HelloFresh, it is essentially a recipe food box delivery service and they provide you with fresh quality ingredients literally straight to your door, even when you live in a block of flats. Pretty handy. When I'm back at home, this saves me and my family so much time. And I knew that with Tom and I both working like really different hours, really different days whilst here in Melbourne, this was gonna save us so much time as well. And it also means that we can really vary up what we're eating. So for example, this week alone, we've got sesame tofu tacos. We've got a Middle Eastern style chickpea bowl and we've got a vegetarian lasagna. Now, trust me, we have been traveling for the last few months. I have eaten a lot of hostel pasta and a lot of restaurant food. Tom and I were so excited to just have like a proper home cooked meal that was not pasta, to be honest. But yeah, this was our first ever delivery to our flat. The dedication is real. So tonight we're gonna go for tofu tacos. You guys probably know that I'm a vegetarian and HelloFresh have so, so many veggie options. To be honest, they just have so, so many options. Like the menu online that you can pick between changes every single week. But tonight we're gonna go for this one. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Plus guys, these recipe cards are so straightforward to follow. I say it all the time, but I'm really not the best at cooking. So if I can follow one of these, literally anybody can. I mean, look at that breakdown. So straightforward. So guys, the absolute best part about this for you guys is that HelloFresh are actually offering 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next two boxes after that with my code that is on screen. Super straightforward, it is just 60M Thompson written here and it will also be linked to the top top line in the description trust me if you've not yet tried it firstly i really recommend and secondly if you are living somewhere abroad don't presume that it's not available in your country because i thought oh, i'm going to australia we won't be able to order hello fresh to the flat completely wrong it's actually available in 14 countries across the world so it's really really good definitely worth looking into 
As I mentioned, that's gonna be the top link in the description. The code is also on screen. Guys, I'm super hungry. It's been a very long day, I can't lie. So let's get cooking. I'm really hoping that mine turn out like this. Smells like a mojito, not mad at it. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of chili, but obviously you guys can add however much spiciness you fancy. This apartment came furnished, but they have the cutest pots and pans, like they're all different colors. So I'm just gonna pop that there. What's your verdict? It's actually really, really nice. I'm so yeah. pleasantly surprised that Tom just cleared his plate because Tom trying new food sometimes isn't an easy, easy no. task. No, I get very stuck in my ways with what I eat. But then it was actually really nice. Yeah, he was took him right yeah. in. I really enjoyed it. I would absolutely have that again. I love anything that is satay. So like whenever we get Asian food, I always go for satay options. That's what it was. Also, I just realized, well, I got really excited because I thought it was Taco Tuesday and then I realized today is Wednesday. I was like, it's Taco Tuesday. On a Wednesday. Yeah, they were really, really good. I've actually cleared Tom, my plate Tom's out more completely than you. cleared this plate, yeah. But no, so, so nice. And now we're gonna head to get ready because we're actually going out this evening. So dinner was a little bit earlier because we're going for some drinks with some friends. So I'm gonna bring you guys along. As I've already mentioned, you guys can get 60% off your first box with HelloFresh and 25% off your next two boxes after that, which is such a good saving. All you need to do is use my discount code, which is 60MThompson. It is on screen. And it is also gonna be the top line, the top link in the description down below. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. And we are about to get ready to go out for drinks with some friends now. So I need to get changed. Guys, I have just got changed to go out. It is 30 degrees this evening in Melbourne. The weather fluctuates a lot, and I'm not gonna keep banging on about it because the weather fluctuates in England a lot, but it jumps from like 15 degrees to 30 degrees in the same day, and that is a different kind of fluctuating. Like in England, it's like, oh, it's so sunny. Oh, it's raining, like three seconds later. Here, it's a temperature thing, so it's hard to dress for. Like today, I was in that black dress. I was so hot. I've worn a lot of black, actually, this week. <laughs> Don't know why, but I've put on these shorts. I actually love these. I wear these all the time. I've had them for about four years. Years. They are quite short, but from Bershka, one of the best investments, and we are heading out. If I move my hairbrush, that could be a very good, very good vlog height. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, we are going out for drinks with our friend Jacob, who you've seen in the vlogs. I can't get over this like more brunette me. It's weird. I do like it though. But yeah, we're going out for drinks with Jacob, who is also in Melbourne at the moment. We actually met him up in Early Beach, so way way north in Queensland. We're also going out with my friend Freya who was in the very first Australia vlog. We met her on the Welcome to Travel tour. She is also in Melbourne. It's actually her last evening here um, but she is so so lovely. We got on so well so quickly. So I've actually seen her a few times this week but I've not filmed it um, and then we also might be seeing Josh and Will again who we also met in the Whitsundays. They live in Melbourne like they are Australian. We went out with them last weekend. They've been so welcoming like they want me and Tom to have the best intro to this city which is just so kind like Everybody we've met genuinely is so lovely, but the other two definitely are on their way. Actually, I think both of them are coming to the flat first, so that's gonna be really nice. Like, Tom and I are kind of like having our first visitors. And then we're just gonna go for a few drinks, but like, it is a Wednesday, so I don't really know where it's gonna be busy, but Melbourne has a really cool bar scene, a really cool nightlife scene. We're just yet to discover it. So if any of you are from Melbourne watching this, or you've been to Melbourne, hit me up in the comments down below with like any bar recommendation in and around the city centre, because we're kind of like, don't really know where to go yet. Right, so we're out for drinks. <laughs> no, I'm not bullying you. <laughs> and Tom wanted to order dessert and they've just brought it. They were like, well, two spoons be enough. And Tom was like, we really need more. It does look really nice though, actually. It looks good. It, yeah, it looks a bit frozen. Cheers, guys. This is not a song, it's a cocktail. <laughs> it looks like a cocktail. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs>
Good morning guys, it is Thursday. I have just woken up, thankfully not hungover. We went out for a few more drinks than I thought we probably were gonna do last night. It's just there's so many cool bars. And the way that we found them last night was literally just walking past them. Berlin bar was really cool, I definitely recommend that. But now I'm just sitting on the floor. I do a lot of sitting on the floor actually with my massive mug of chai. Basically there were quite a lot of things that, obviously, like I said, this apartment came furnished. So it has like most things, but there were definitely some things this place did not have like for example they didn't have any mugs so tom went out i was like could you pick some mugs up when i was at um my job interview yesterday and uh these are like buckets like i love a cup of tea so i'm happy about this but you could you could eat soup out of this this is a bowl with a handle on it so i'm having a mug of chai never used to like chai like this is a really new thing this happened over christmas because my friend liv if she's watching live up had like chai tea with her and she was like you should try it you should try it and i didn't hate it i actually quite liked it so it's a good alternative to coffee or caffeine is there caffeine in chai i don't think there is but yeah i wanted to have a chat with you update you guys on the job front so in the last video i was chatting to you guys about how i really wanted to be able to get a job here in melbourne to do alongside doing social media kind of to you actually be doing something with my days that involves leaving the flat and yesterday guys i literally got the perfect job i'm gonna be totally honest and talk you through what's happened over the last few days because i haven't really updated you first job i went to was for a cafe when i got there it actually was way more of a restaurant it was not a cafe it was like sit down food it was a lot more of a restaurant and i've never worked in that environment but i like I did the best I could and I thought the trial shift went really well and the guy texted me saying it did go really well but like we don't want to offer you all of the hours that we've got available we only want to offer you like half but it was already a part-time job so that was like really not very many hours and that was fine I probably would have taken that anyway but I was like keeping my options open because I knew that I had other things lined up so I replied being like oh, I'll get back to you ASAP kind of thing but the team there were lovely that was the job I spoke about in my job hunting video and then I went for an interview at a company that uh, was a little bit further out of Melbourne. It was about 40 minutes away and it was waitressing again, but a different kind of waitressing. It was like events waitering for like weddings and functions. And imagine like a big function room, like where you'd have like a birthday party or something. So I went there and they offered me the job on the spot, but it was a long way from where we're living. And I was like, it's gonna be really, really late nights, really late hours because it's functions and weddings and parties go on until the early hours of the morning. And I had thought about that. I didn't really realize just how far away it was and getting back at that time was gonna have been like quite an issue So as I was leaving that probably like in my head I'd already sort of made up my mind that I was gonna say no because like they were like I'll get back to us when you've made a decision I'd already sort of decided I was probably gonna say no to that and then as I was leaving the kind of like owners of the function place um, came over to me and was like oh can we just have another chat really quickly and then they offered me a role in like social media marketing like doing the marketing for their team which i was thrown by to be honest and they were laughing they were like we put you on the spot we know um, and i don't actually have any history in like professional marketing obviously um but i do have history in social media and they'd seen that on my cv because the bulk of my cv is this job obviously because i don't have too much other experience so it's very social media advertising brands heavy and they were like yeah we just need somebody that's like really in tune of social media all of that side of everything would you be interested and that definitely threw me for a bit because i was like do i want to do this sort of work like do i want a continuation of what i do anyway like that definitely was something i'd been looking at originally but all of those roles were more like full-time career kind of roles and that's not really what i was here to do like i have this job this takes up so much time i don't know if i want to do more hours of the same work like it would be a lot it would be like a full-time job and then doing this as a full-time job as well lots of social media lots of screen time i was kind of a bit like it's not really what i came to melbourne to do plus this location is still a long 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 commute and if the trams aren't running when i have to leave like i can't really get back so i really had to think about this and i didn't really know what i wanted so i came back and i thought i'll go to my final trial shift and i'll see how that goes and then i'll make the decision so that i've had like all of the above anyway i went to this cafe yesterday and it was just perfect to be honest guys it was a coffee shop it wasn't a restaurant it barely serves that much food so there was a lot less stress on the like food preparation front the guy was so lovely and i did this trial shift and i honestly thought it had gone terribly like i did keep messing it up because he put me on the till without training me on the till so he was like here's the till see if you can work it out as there was like a long line of customers out the door and i was looking at this till thinking oh my god i can't see where all the coffees are that you know when you see like a an ipad or a till screen where it's like loads of buttons and then people are ordering like skinny flat white with soy milk with one shot of coffee and extra hot and then you're trying to put it all through on like a tab and i just didn't know where all the buttons were 
So I was really stressing and I thought I'd done really badly. And then at the end, the guy was like, no, you've done so well. Like you can start on Monday if you want to start this job, like it's yours. And I was shocked at that because I really thought I'd done badly. I think I probably had, but I think he'd thrown me in the deep end deliberately. Anyway, so these hours were just perfect guys. Basically it's this really small little cafe and I'll only be working there in the mornings, which is perfect because it means I still have my afternoons. It means I still have so much time to do social media. It means I'll be back here in the flat for like lunchtime every day, which is perfect. And it is a slightly earlier start than I've ever really worked before. But yeah, overall this, this job was just like, it was so good. It was, it's so near to where we're living. I can walk there so quickly. Yeah, it was just a really friendly environment. They all were really friendly environments actually. Like everybody's been so welcoming and that was why the decision was really hard. I sort of do feel like I'm 17 again. But I'm okay with that to be honest. Like these hours are perfect. This like level of part time is perfect. If I can just use this to fund more traveling in this country without having to like touch my money that's coming in from social media and have that as like savings then that is so ideal. Yeah, the pay here is a lot better and it's pretty good for, for casual cafe working, to be honest. I'm gonna bring you along today. Today is gonna be a really fun day. So I don't start till next week, so I've got a few chill days. All my days are gonna be chill, to be fair. But today I'm actually meeting up with my friend Liv, different Liv to who I just spoke about, for brunch. Tom is coming as well. We both know her from Bali. We actually met Liv in Bali. have kept in touch with her on Instagram and stuff. She's been living in Melbourne for about four months now, so she knows the city. There's my little life update. This vlog's gonna be so long, guys. I'm so sorry, and my chai's going cold. This might be the most insane so breakfast, guys, I've ever seen in my life. I'm just not really even sure what it is. It's waffles. There's strawberry ice cream in there somewhere. But yeah. I'm just honestly blown away by this. The presentation, this looks like hair as well. I think it's candy floss. Liv has the same and she's dressed to match it. Here she is. I, you absolutely, you need to get a photo. Like this is the most, yeah, I absolutely love it. Tom's looks less aesthetic, but looks actually really nice. Like it smells so good. I'm really jealous of the cheese. It looks really good. <laughs> Okay guys, it is the second night of HelloFresh and it's just me tonight. Tom is actually at like a work thing. He's basically at like a, this is a total separate side story actually. He's at a networking event for like graphics, I think. He found it on Instagram, I don't know. It sounds kind of cool. I'm pretty impressed with myself guys. Tonight's dinner looks quite appetizing. It is basically like a coconut and chickpea dal with carrots and tomatoes, all that good stuff. And then tortilla chip. And I'm pretty impressed with my presentation if I say so myself. It smells insane and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna tuck straight in. I am just in our bedroom. It's a bit of a mess, as is my hair. Dinner was really good. Tom has just got back from his like little networky thing. I don't really know what it was actually, but basically Tom's just got back. I haven't even really spoke to him about it, but it sounded really good. Um, it was like a barbecue. He's had pre-food, I've had dinner. And then our friend Josh, who actually lives in Melbourne. I've mentioned Josh and Will so many times, but they just texted and was like, do you wanna go and watch the sunset together? So we are gonna go with them. They have a car, so it's really lucky because it means that they can like get around everywhere and they're really kind of keep offering to take us places in their cars. So that's really nice of them. So obviously we don't have any real way of getting around other than trains and trams. It's fine. Melbourne's pretty well connected but like for like random remote sunset spots probably not on a train line um although if you know any that are do hit me up today is actually and i've not spoken about this at all is the 26th today 26th of january which is actually australia day i was here before on australia day a few years back and didn't really understand what it was i'm not gonna lie nobody had ever explained it to me um, i was a lot younger and i think the only comparison i'd actually had why is my battery just started flashing the only comparison i'd ever had was it's like the 4th of july and that was the only comparison i'd ever had everyone's partying but i think this time when i'm in Australia I realized that actually it's not a celebration at all everybody here calls it like invasion day rather than Australia day um, and there's like a big there's a big protest in Melbourne today so I haven't mentioned it until now but the fact that I didn't really understand it the last time I was here it does sort of make me cringe now but I guess that is part of like learning and growing up if you don't know what I'm talking about basically today is the date that Britain like colonized Australia and they celebrate that as like well I think a few years back definitely they celebrate that as like their national day and there's a big campaign to like have that change like still celebrate the country that it is today but on a totally different date because why should it be celebrated 
on a day when actually it was colonized by Britain. Like it, it just doesn't really make sense. And obviously for the indigenous people of Australia, that's actually really disrespectful. So yeah, there's big protests in the city today and I haven't spoke about it because we're not celebrating it. I've not done anything. So I've just been chilling, editing. Okay, I found a spare battery guys. Camera just died completely. But yeah, that's my little take on Australia day. Obviously I'm not Australian. I've not grown up in this country. I don't know what it's previously been like. I can only speak for what it's like today and what it was like the last time I was here. And actually I can see a bit of a difference. I'm not sure if that's because I'm in a big city today. Yeah, there definitely feels to have been a shift even in just those three years. Here is Thomas. Hello vlog. Why are you wearing jeans? I've just had them on today and they are uncomfy but I don't want to get changed now. To be honest, I think it's going to cool. It's actually, now, yeah, well. So it's probably the best time to wear them. When I was editing when you weren't in, I uh, was watching the weather and it said it's going to chill down to 13 tonight. Exactly, see? Are they here? Yeah, he's here. Cool, I need to pop my shorts on but we're going to go and watch the sunset now. I just thought I would have that little chat because I know I'll probably put the date across the screen and not address this. But we're going to go watch the sunset. This is a really cool spot actually though. Wow, the hood's really, <laughs> it's really giving. The sun, clearing, I might leave the audio in this clip and it'll just be you. No, I think I might. Is that an option I do this? Hold on, <laughs> Molly, she get busy, okay? She'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> Hold on, Molly will be with you in two seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, she don't have all day. Is this Nicki Minaj being my bodyguard? I don't know. Is that what that is? You know Molly ain't got no time. <laughs> Tom's like, what the hell is happening? What are you doing? You're doing a dance routine? Let's go hold her. No, no. No. I know, clear. We have come for dessert, guys. We've got two Oreo cheesecakes and a strawberry tart from a place called Vanilla in what suburb are we in? Oakley? Oakley. 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 All Josh does is impersonate our English accents the entire time. It sounds really posh, which is not how Tom and I sound, so good. She's a gym influencer. Literally said me. Never. I've had that one time in, in lockdown. Good morning guys, it is Friday. I don't know what I last filmed, I think it was the sunset. It is actually Friday lunchtime now, it's like the afternoon. This morning we had a bit of a lie-in, I was sorting a lot of like editing stuff out. But also we still actually don't have any Wi-Fi, so we just had the guy that like owns this flat in here again trying to sort the wi-fi out it's just not working um which has been a bit of an issue because i've been uploading to youtube a lot this week and i've been doing that off my 4g but i've now burnt through my entire month's worth of data um so i've run out of data and still no wi-fi so good anyway separate to that we are about to go to the gym tom's actually already been one day this week when i was at a work trial but i haven't been yet so i'm gonna go and do I think probably mainly cardio. I don't really know what they have. I, I definitely saw treadmills and bikes. And I also saw like some weights, but I don't really know what they have. So I'm just gonna go kind of see. I haven't worked out since I left the UK. Yeah, I've just got on this sports bar from USA Pro. This was eight pounds guys from Sports Direct in the UK. And then these Fabletics leggings, which I've literally had for like three years. They're still going strong. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the gym. Guys, stupidly, I left my memory card back in the flat. But we are going out for dinner with James and Brona, who are a couple that we actually met in Thailand last year. I keep wanting to say earlier this year. Thailand was last year now. Um, but they're living in Melbourne, so they're going to take us to a restaurant that they recommend. It's going to be nice. It's such a nice yeah. evening, guys. It's literally like 7.30 right now, and it's so warm and sunny. Do you know what I've just thought would be a really good idea? What? Having a necklace that had... <laughs> Like an SD card within the necklace. I'm not actually sure that that would look that fashionable, but maybe. Guys, look at the South Bank right now. It's so pretty. Sunset goals. It is now the next day. Clearly I need to blend that bronzer in on my forehead a bit better. Doesn't look like that in real life. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's been so long, super, super chatty. And I'm actually filming today for a separate video anyway. So you'll see that super soon. Give this one a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. We have had the most lovely first week here. It has just been 
so much fun honestly everything i could have wanted from it to be honest so if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below hello fresh will be the top link in the description and i shall see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>